We begin with a local issue that's been a battleground for the two major provincial parties. Enbridge's proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline has gone through eight months of questioning at the Joint Review Panel. While the panel and experts now take a six-week break, political candidates aren't taking a break from debating the issue. It's been a long and trying eight months for Janet Holder. The Enbridge Vice President for Western Access has spent them poring over maps and evidence for the Joint Review Panel. I don't think anybody when they started this project would uh, realize it would be as long as it was. But that's, that's not a bad thing, that is a good thing because it does mean that people did have an interest. People were coming out and asking the questions and that's what the process is for, is to make sure that we're as transparent um, you know, as we possibly can be. Holder believes it's been the most rigorous environmental review process in Canadian history. When you have 20,000 pages of evidence that you have to recall and uh, respond to, it's, it's, it's a daunting task, but uh, we're glad it's over and uh, but, uh, we're glad we also had to go through it. A rigorous environmental review is one of the B.C. Liberals' five conditions of supporting the project. Shirley Bond says the JRP process run by the federal government is rigorous enough to meet one of the five Liberal conditions. Well, I do, and certainly as a province, one of the things that's been important to us is obviously you need a rigorous environmental assessment, but do you need to do it twice? Her NDP opponent, Sherry Ogasawara, disagrees. The whole in environmental assessment process was given away to Ottawa and that's actually what we need to have back is more of a rigorous made in BC model so you know British Columbians can really decide what's best for them. Both candidates have concerns about how the end result will turn out. What I'm concerned about is capital is mobile and if there isn't a clear set of rules and obviously industry has to meet those rules they're simply going to pack up and choose to invest elsewhere. It's not a jobs versus environment argument or a debate. I mean, this is going to destroy the fisheries. It's going to destroy the wildlife corridors. Uh, we have many jobs that really depend on having uh, a clean environment. Regardless of which party gets in on May 14th, the final argument and closing statements for the JRP will take place in Terrace in six weeks, and a final report is expected by the end of the year.